What up, y'all? It's your boy Jay on the Segway. Right now, we're in my mobile center, my little mobile office. I want to show you guys a couple of Yulanzi's O lock systems, okay? Stay tuned. Today's video is going to consist of three of their products, okay? Two actual products, one is going to be like an accessory to the products. We got the tripod and we got their motorcycle mount. Now the motorcycle mount, you can actually use this for other things other than motorcycles, but we'll get into that in a second. The third item guys is going to be this guy right here. So if you guys, because you Lonzi on their website, don't mind a hole in my shirt, all right? Matter of fact. <laughs> hey, press the like button if you should think I should have kept the holy ass shirt on as character. But anyways, um, yeah, so this thing right here, right? So if you guys have an iPhone, if you go on Yulanzi's website, you can see Yulanzi has actual cases for your phone, like iPhones. They only have iPhone cases that actually has the built-in lock system or mechanism on the backside of it. So you guys can actually use it with this whole new line of O-locks that, you know, Yulanzi's created. So... If you guys do not have an iPhone, this is where this will come in handy for an extra, uh, yeah, that price right there. You guys can buy one of these and you can attach it to your, one of your phones. Now I have my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus right here. Um, I always keep it in this case. Ever so often I'll use this phone for vlogs or making some videos. It just depends on what I got going on. I might not want to use the Sony that I'm using right now or the GoPro or the DJI or any of my other cameras that I have. So I would use this guy. So in this case, because this is a phone mount type system, this is more evolved around cell phones and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to take this ring. First of all, let's come on. Hey, the presentation for, for Yulanzi's. Look at like, look at this. This is fire. You guys seen it already. I showed you all this already. The presentation is fire. I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna attach this to the back of this phone case. Yes, guys. By the way, if you guys are using this or if you have an iPhone and you have the little mech, this mechanism mechanism will be built into your iPhone's case that you would buy to use this with like the tripod or the motorcycle uh, stand. They also have a bicycle mount, just so you guys know, and. A car mount that you can actually with a suction mount or should i say a car suction mount that you can stick to your windshield or something like that if you want to use your phone for a dash cam or if you just want to do tiktok videos or if you guys are doing ubering and you want to have your phone stuck to your windshield they actually have one also for that so it's actually pretty cool it's a it's a good little ecosystem that they got started uh, i like to see how they incorporate that with like other cameras if that's even a thing or maybe they could have like a quick disconnect system where you're using the o locks okay anyways um i'm gonna stick this on now what i'm going to use now and what i recommend you guys using is any pure alcohol anything that has um like aloe vera in it do not use it just use something that's pure alcohol or uh just use pure alcohol or <laughs> right now i don't have pure alcohol but i do have these disinfectant wipes okay and these are alcohol based they don't have any like conditioners or moisturizers in them so i'm going to take one of these wipes and i am going to wipe the back of this phone i'm gonna wipe this shit out of it now, when you apply this ring, okay, you wanna make sure you get it in a position that's kind of central. Yes, your phone can wirelessly charge. It's too bad I don't have none of my wireless chargers with me. I'll show you guys. But um, with this stuck to the back of the phone, you can put this on a wireless charging stand. It will start to charge. You can put it on any kind of a wireless charger and it will charge. That's the good thing about Yulanzi's new O-Lock system. This goes for you iPhone users who actually will have a whole actual case to put your iPhone in. I think they use, they have the 13, the 12 and the 11, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna, we're gonna show you right now, right now on their website. 
okay those are all the models that they have cases for if you guys any of your phones outside of that range you will want to buy one of these so make sure you get one of these i think you can get it on amazon and yulanzi's website so you want to make sure you put it as center on your phone as possible so when you mount it on the tripod the weight of your phone is balanced on the actual tripod and you're not feeling like a little bit more leaning you know because if you have it like right here now it's more on this side this side might be leaning it might be trying to lean down heavier on this side so you want to make sure you have it centered just right when you put it on your cell phone okay and i'm going to use this along with other things and i'll show you that here in a second but um in the meantime in between time let me go on and get this thing mounted All right, now as far as using your cell phone, okay, I have the cell phone with the tripod mount. The tripod mount goes out pretty decently far. It's not too much inches. You guys want to know exactly how far it extends. Now let's just say you want to use the tripod or the tripod for vlogging, right? But you want to use a microphone system because the microphones on your phone suck and you don't want to use it. So you want to use an extended microphone. Well, Oh, <laughs> An option would be Loom Cube's little microphone. Yulanzi has one as well. It's a little sensitive, but they do have one. With a few extra attachments, you can go on ahead and get you one of these, okay? This is not too heavy, okay? You see I'm sh shaking this around. Ah, ah, ah! We got a little, little getting sideways. Okay, we're gonna shake it again. And that's why weight is important. You don't want to use a big ass microphone. So you want to use one of these little small video mics or Yulanzi's wireless microphone system. All right, this is the UW Mic 20T. I've done a few reviews on this. I did a remastered version and I did a video showing you guys how to use this thing, okay? This is a very simple and easy solution. You don't have to get two microphones. That's what the 20T is about. You can get the 10T. The 10T is just one microphone with one receiver. Um, very cool microphone, works very well. So if you guys are like using this for your like bicycle vlogging, if you want to talk about the O-Lock for the bicycles, we're going to get into that right now I'm telling you guys presentation is everything give you this nice little nipple thingy right here pull that bitch out you have an allen key right here okay this allen key is important you want to keep this guy around and you have the actual bicycle mount and then it's got two little pieces right here what are those guys for well if your handlebars are too thick or too thin these will allow you a little bit of extra wiggle room to get the proper fit that you may need. We're gonna go on ahead and use my Dualtron, I'm mean, Dualtron. We're gonna go on ahead and use my Nami Burn E electric scooter because it is very similar to the, um, a motorcycle, okay? And we're gonna mount this to it. Now the pamphlet for this comes and it tells you, hey, these are the options that it, these are the features. See that? Shock absorption, you got, adjustable angle and then the quick reference for the U-Lock, O-Lock system. Okay, so this is the actual mount itself, okay? You have this thing right here, this little uh, tab. This tab will operate the pivoting, like this being able to spin like this and this whole entire top area. Watch when I, when I tighten it up. Okay, nothing's moving, all right? The bottom part right here, you have this little piece. This is where the Allen key goes in, guys, all right? Allen key goes in right here. This is what you use to open up this right here so that you can get it around your handlebar. The shock absorption part of this whole lock and sit mechanism is this right here in the middle. You see this? This is all like a, like a soft padding. 
and watch me watch me compress it. So while you're riding your bicycle and your phone is mounted, it's got shock absorption. Dude, that's fire. It's pretty fly. Now this thing is able to rotate. You see these little bearings? This thing has bearings on it. You see those little four uh, metal looking thingies? One, two, three, four. Those are bearings. That allows your phone when you attach it to attach it, guys. You have to squeeze these things. Pre put you know place the actual mount on top of it and once you have it flush release the pins and boom we got connectivity and those bearings is what's allowing it to do this thing right here which is why i told you guys if you want to mic mount a microphone to this kit it can't be too heavy and the more centered it is the better which it can't be centered because this o-ring is centered and you can't clamp anything you know that's going to make it centered so you got to do it off centered which is what i did with this uh, loom cube mount with the microphone hooked up to it. Ulanzi has one, it's in the description below. You mount it right here. Your microphone is close to center as possible. That way when you're vlogging, the bearings don't easily slide, okay? But you always gotta be careful with the bearings. And like I told you guys, the actual Ulanzi wireless mic, this thing is so lightweight that it doesn't, this won't have a chance. The only way this bearing is gonna make this phone move is with extreme movements. Okay, so uh, let me show you guys how I mount this on my scooter. Okay, so here you have your bicycle mount. You wanna take that supplied Allen key and take it, poke it right inside that screw, and you wanna unscrew it all the way out. Yep, all right, now once you get that screw out, now you're able to open up the clamp, all right? So you wanna make sure that that insert, you see that rubber insert? You wanna make sure that's the right size. And as you guys can see, this rubber insert is not thick enough as it will not secure around this particular bar. So what am I gonna do? Take it out and find the ones that do fit. It's gonna be one of these two thick ones here. So I've picked one and I'm going to secure it around the bar. Once you get that secured around the bar, you wanna go grab the bicycle mount and wrap that little round part around this adapter. <laughs> we'll call it an adapter. Once you get that bad boy wrapped around that pole, you go on ahead and take your screw, put it back in the hole, grab your Allen key and screw it back in. So this part is one of those procedures that once you do it enough, you'll get used to it. So what I'm doing is I am tightening it up with the Allen key that was supplied with the bicycle mount. And you just want to keep making adjustments to the mount itself to get the Allen key, you know, to a comfortable position. Once you get it nice and snug, go on ahead and you see it's tight. And then you go on ahead and adjust the mount itself to the position where you want it. You can grab your cell phone that you're going to use to like, you know, for your navigation or whatever you want to use your phone for when mounting to the system. You want to squeeze the sides of that mount, place the phone on top while hands are still holding it nice, you know, while your hands are still squeezing it and then uh, release it once you get the phone placed on it. And then you can just go on ahead and adjust this to where you want. You take that little tab right there and you twist it clockwise until the phone gets to the place where you want it to be. It will be snug, it won't move. Um, remember it does have bearings, so if your motorcycle does shake or vibrate extremely hard, it may turn like how I just turned it right there. So right here, this is what the phone looks like on my electric scooter. If you guys are using a motorcycle, this will look pretty much the same wherever you have it mounted. Do be advised, please be advised that this thing may, your phone may or may not swivel while on the mount. If you encounter very, very, very rough parts, I will make another video with this motorcycle mount on my actual motorcycle. I will find me a very, very, very bumpy road to ride on and we'll see if the phone actually moves. But go on ahead and look at this right here. You see everything is nice and tight. It's kind of how we look up close. I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor. So it's really that simple, guys. It's really that simple. And so let's just to show you guys real quick, okay, with this 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 20T, this UW mic thing from Ulanzi, right? If you're doing vlogging and you just want a wireless setup. You got to check out the video. I'll put the link to the video in the description below. I just want to show you guys who are here right now, who was looking at this video, wanting to just kind of see what yulanzi has got going on with this O-ring kit. All right, I'm going to take the little box, right? This is the whole little microphone set right here. Okay, you got two, two mics and then a receiver. The receiver is what will plug into your cell phone. I do have the USB-C model. They do have an a, a Apple Lightning connector so if you guys have apple's products that still use the lightning connector then um that's the one you would order and um th this this thing everything you see here come it comes with this all right dead cat it, it, you know 
it just screws on it's very simple now this piece right here this is the adapter that i was talking about this is a usb-c to usb-c basically male to female end adapter what that allows me to do with such cell phones where you have these thick outer box cases okay and you try to open up the port to get to the usb-c port and the actual receiver by itself will not it, it won't go in it's, it's, it's not long enough it's not what she said now you get the microphone, you hold the power button on if the light doesn't have, if there's no lights that's on when you take it out of the box and they both connect it. You'll know they're connected, the receiver and microphone, when you see two solid green lights, one on each device, all right? So, boom, you put this on a mount. Let's go find the uh, tripod. And you have a wireless audio solution here. You could do your little vlogging. Hey, my name is Jay on the Segway. And I have a wireless microphone and I'm gonna clip it to my shirt. I'm gonna make me a little video. Did I mention that no one sponsored this video? Just this guy? No one sent me anything. Yulanzi did have like a little contest on people who are going to make videos on these new products, these O-Lock lines. Um, I didn't make cut off, but I really liked the whole concept. So I decided to purchase it on my own and I'm giving you this video. And if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you wanna see more random videos of mine because I make videos on just random things, but anything I've made a video on, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask because I'm usually tinkering and playing around with different things that I buy. I usually don't just buy things and not use them. I usually use them because I bought them because I like them. So anyways, um, thanks for watching. All right. Peace. I gotta put all this shit away. Whew. It's gonna be a long night. I don't know. Let's get to it.